All right, let's do this. We're gonna go Darius top. I'm gonna try to explain what I'm doing. So I am starting cloth armor and excuse me, four HP pots. I look like a Smurf with this hood. Um, so cloth armor, four HP pots. I'm gonna be against the Renekton. I forgot that my team actually decided that we wanted to invade. So I'm going to go there now. Hopefully I don't come across anybody. My destination is clear. Shoot, he's way too far in front. Okay, forces a flash. That's a good start. Yep, really good start. Minions have spawned. Okay, I'm just going back so that I don't have to walk through all, like, I don't want to walk through all this. I don't even walk through all, want to walk through all that. Like, there could be some major stuff going on there. Typically, what people do is they, like, especially at higher level of play, they, they'll just kind of poke around, see if they can find something. Like, they have Caitlyn Trav, Soraka can, like, um, sorry, she can, uh, like, just place wards or whatever. So I'm not too concerned about that. Let's get this actually down here so that I'm a little bit more centered. Um, so, not concerned. Um, I'm also going up against this guy. Yeah, he started a Doran's Shield, which is a super popular item. Um, I personally am not the biggest fan of it. I like Cloth 5 a bit better. See, I like landing the auto attack behind the Q. And then if I can land another one uh, and keep the blood stacks like going higher as well as just like sustained on him. I'm gonna Q him again. Okay. So now he's got the rage built up so his next Q is actually gonna heal him for quite a bit. So I'll keep that in mind. He's gonna continuously auto attack to keep his rage up. And oops. Now I'm warding against an Evelyn so it doesn't really matter that much. But I'm also going to take my W next to basically ensure that I can trade pretty good with him. Now he's pushing to me, which is fine by me. Darius does pretty well farming under towers. Now I'm having a hard time because this cannon minion is choosing to fire away at the minions that are farthest from me. Now my Q is on with them, so... Oh my god, so sick. Sick. <laughs> Easy. That was actually so sick. Wow. Probably could have even saved my ignite. Whoops. So that was pretty good. Um, I feel like I'm off to obviously a very good start against the Renekton. I felt like I was doing good even without the gang. But obviously that's going to be very helpful. Whoops. That was a misclick. Um, I know that I've still got enough HP, obviously, to not have to worry so much about what this guy's going to be outputting. I'm going to make him farm under tower. Hopefully he misses something, but if not, that's fine too. When I go back, um, I'm going to take a look at the rest of the team. They do have an AP mid and AP jungler, but they got an AD top and an AD bot lane. I'm going to actually be rushing out my um, Sunfire. But for right now, I'm feeling pretty confident with what I've got going. So this is actually a trick spot. An ally has and I'll throw up a pink ward too. So this is just going to make me feel, obviously, very, very safe. I've got cloth armor, boots, Doran's blade. He hasn't upgraded really. Sorry, he's actually got a cloth armor. I didn't realize that he CS like that. Yeah, he's got 19 CS. That's not bad at all. That's actually really impressive. So he's doing pretty good for himself. I, that's gonna be pushing towards me. And I feel as though I'm out leveling him too. So when I hit level six, he's probably not gonna be level six. So I'm gonna feel pretty good about that. Oops, jeez, my CSing, dude. I actually missed the Q. I will not rest. So uh, actually, the uh, the last couple of seconds here have not been good. I'm also taking a lot of minion damage, which is not something I want to do. In fact, I'm actually going to be forced to pot here. So 
he's actually doing a pretty good job of exchanging with me. I'm impressed. I have my order. See, at the very least, I'm gonna be healing off of that, and I'm gonna f I'm gonna get this minion to uh, get my minions to group here. Now, when your minions group like this, this means that my my wave is actually gonna push to him because my cannon's gonna get off a couple more shots than his. But he seems to not care about that. I hate wasting W on not him. Oh god, I'm just not paying attention. So I missed a couple of CS already. Um, that's one thing I just gotta get back under control. Since I stopped playing as much. Okay, so now I'm 6. He's not, clearly. Um, and I'm actually gonna drop a ward, my pink ward, as soon as I can. Now, Evelyn, Evelyn can obviously just go around that, but, I mean, I may as well throw it down. But I am going to look to fight him all the time. Strength above all. Well, not really all the time. Just, like, I know that I've got a massive advantage, and he knows that, too. The fact that he knows that is actually, like, that's good for him, because... Some people don't recognize that, or don't, like, acknowledge it. I'm also gonna pop a potion because if we go, if we fight each other, it's gonna be like all out. It's not gonna be like messing around. Like we're gonna go ham on each other. And I gotta take a tower shot, but it's worth it for that creep. Also, the end of Darius's blade actually does more damage than all other parts of it, so I'm gonna stay on top of trying to hit him with that part of it. But if it gets close, then whatever. Like you do what you gotta do. Yeah, that was actually really nice. Now, again, so the bleed stacks will stay on him as long as I keep hitting him with stuff. But obviously right there I didn't have an opportunity to do that. Oh, okay, that was close. So, yeah. I'm going to try to keep on top of him because he certainly does not have the sustainability to keep coming at it like this. I've also got the... Uh, the mana potions lined up, so there's my last mana potion, but that's gonna keep me like way on top of things. If he auto attacks me, that's good because you can see my minions turn on him now. That auto attack that he did to me means nothing. Okay, so now he's gonna ult. I feel like Evelyn's here, but she's not. Actually, I should have stayed in this bush just to check if he was coming back. But it appears as though he's not. So if he's not coming back, then I'm gonna go ahead and just push this out. I'm also going to get the next wave. So this is like a perfect spot for me to just stay, stick around, get the next wave. And do some damage to the turret. Death by my this is cute. Shit. Yeah, she's such a I was gonna kill her too if Kale wasn't there. That would have been a really easy kill. Well, I don't get that wave, unfortunately, but I go back and I get my Giant's Belt, which is a big purchase for me. And my good old buddy there is gonna hold, so that's nice. Again, and I'm gonna go with like the exact same potion set that I've been going with. Now, he burned his ultimate. I'm actually, I don't play a lot of Renekton, so I'm not 100% positive about, uh, shoot, sorry, my dashboard wasn't open, so if, if there's anybody that's been chatting, then I missed it entirely, and I feel like a douche for it, but, um, so I'm not going to know exactly what the cooldown's like on his ultimate, but I think that he just had some damage on his ultimate. I'm actually, I don't play a lot of Renekton. Oopsies. Alright, it's a little bit of damage, I'll take it. So now I get some zoning done, I'm clearly ahead in the lane. An enemy has been slain. Alright, so he's gonna come up to see us. I'm curious what he's got going for himself right now, so he's just got a giant spell, so... Oh god, I 
this. Part of this is just the balloons and the creeps. Hey, I gotta, I gotta stand and fight. Like. Okay. There was no getting away from that 100% guaranteed I was gonna die. Um, so I just had to take something and run with it. Alright, and I also get my second piece of this, which is nice. Okay, and I miss a whole wave, but I think he pretty much missed one too. I'm at 79, he's at 59. 20 CS lead, it's a pretty big deal, and he did not get that kill, so I'm going to be under the assumption that he will also not have a chain vest. However, I have level 2 boots, so if I were to like equate my advantage, I would say that it's probably the level 2 boots only. But if he comes back without a chain vest, then I'm going to be massively, massively in the lead. Um, and if you're questioning at all, like, why I didn't ult sooner or whatever, no, Darius mechanics free. dictate that the later that you ult, the better it's going to be for you, basically, because you want to guarantee that you have five blood stacks on him. Um, I was going to queue the wave, but now I'm not. I keep blood stacks for taking that CS from me when I clearly failed it. He does not have boots, but he did get the chain vest, so it's good to know. Bummer. It's just for the kill. Yes, a second exchange. Um, obviously I can't finish him with a lamp. Well, not obviously, but like it's pretty clear that this guy kind of knows what he's doing, and he's not gonna die just to not my ult. Probably won't even die to my ult. Like I think the rest of this game is gonna be really, really passive. Not gonna let him take the CS, and if he does, then he's gonna take punishment for it. Okay, luckily that is a speed steal, so I'm gonna be away from this one no problem. If I would have queued him too, I actually would have won the exchange. They've been really trying to get me this game. They send lots of characters top. Actually, Darius does fairly well against Kale as long as I can get on top of her. So, Kale coming top. She's probably going to leave now. And Renekton is actually going to go do his uh, golems. So, oh god, I'm so brave. Every time I miss a CS, like, I just, like, die a little bit inside. Now I should have actually autoed and then reset with my W to get that down faster. So that when Renekton does come back, I would have done more damage. But it seems as though he's not going to be here for a long time anyways. But yeah, he just went off and did his, um, his golems. He ulted way too soon for me. Like, if I was this guy. And I'm not even going to queue him. I'm not going to waste the mana until he's out of... Like, he was right beside me, and I'm not going to queue him. I'm not going to waste that mana. So I'm going to take a peek at him, though. Yeah, he's going back. So we're going to let him know. Just to see if we can get him to stay. We're going to let him know that I'm going to take his tower if he leaves. Seems to be that he's okay with it. So I'm actually going to do it really in a really... Um, Overkill kind of way, which is that I'm gonna go way back here and I'm gonna fight these creeps So that my next wave is also gonna do damage to the tower and it's also going to die to the tower. Here we go Okay, so I want I really wanted to use that W on her so I could get the speed steal and then I can get away from it But he's still losing a lot of CS I'm considering staying but because uh, that is a decent, like, ah, no, there's only three crews there. But he's got a Sunfire Cape, which tells me that I clearly need mine. Again, I don't think he even has boots now. Yeah, he doesn't even have any boots. So we're doing all right there. I'm actually going to pick up a Longsword, too, because when I'm ahead, I like to take my advantage by getting more damage. Always a good thing to get more damage. But 
that Nautilus like knew what he was doing. When you gank top and you get your your guy a kill, typically they're gonna win that lane. And I feel as though I've been crushing this lane. Like I'm ahead now, 30 CS, roughly, or 25 actually. But um, I'm, and I'm gonna get the tower down. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Sunfire Cave. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing, by the way. I know that wave's not gonna kill it, but I can get it on my way back if I need to. So, we got an exact repeat of what happened last time. He's got boots now. Wow, okay. We got the turret anyways, but yeah, that was just too much. I obviously couldn't handle that. Luckily, my team reacts properly, and they, they trade one kill for um, basically two turrets. Because if Kale obviously went to the turret, she would have saved it. I would consider that turret dead anyway, so it's probably a good thing that she didn't go there. Um, but for right now, I would really like a Negatron Cloak, but I know that I'm also going to still keep going top lane, so I'm going to actually grab one of these. And a pink ward. I hate buying pink wards, but with Evelyn in the game, that's why she's getting banned now. Like, pink wards are so expensive and so easy to take down. Killing Shut down. So let's see where he's at with CS now. So he's at 99, I'm at 127. Double kill. I mean, I'm probably gonna still get away with beating him in fights. I've got the level 2 boots and a Doran's Blade and a Advanced Scepter on top of this dude. Okay, let's, let's hope that... Uh, yeah, okay, so everybody's gone. I'm okay now. I'm gonna go to the next tower. I'm actually just gonna push to the next tower, and I swear, every can is ridiculous. Anyways, I'm gonna push to the next tower and see what happens. Could have altered him because he's had the most stacks, but probably, he probably would have just altered himself, and that to me is not a good trade. I need to beat him. So I'm gonna actually use that fact to just keep going. Double kill. Nice. Triple kill. Yeah, this is gross now. Only Caitlyn's alive. I'm probably gonna get this tower. Yeah, I'm, I'm free and clear. Probably till the next wave. So a good way to gauge when the, when the wave's coming is just to look at your side of the map. So I see that this is here. So I know that the next wave is gonna be... Coming out of this tower, and here we go. So you can just gauge by watching the other side. Um, he knows that he's gonna win a fight with me. He kept his ult up, so I'm actually gonna probably back off a little bit. I'm surprised he even let me have those. Oh, there's the Kale. Thank you. Actually, I can't do that either. They probably know that's a, that's what I'm gonna want to do. Oh, interesting. Okay, so now I'm gonna join my team and sack top. If he goes top, then he's opening the rest of his team up to some pretty major issues. And at this point, I'm actually going to grab one of these bad boys. And if I could turn that, that would be nice. Yeah, it's arguable. I know it's questionable to sell the pink board, like it's a giant waste of money, but you know what? It's fine. Okay, so Flash is out of Evelyn, that's good to know. And this is a good reason why you shouldn't play lock screen, Matt, Tim. <laughs> because if you play lock screen, you're not going to be able to see things like this. Like, I can see my character on the minimap, and that's all I'm watching. It's like, it's like watching a big movie, and you can track everything that's happening. So, you know, I know that Flash is down, whereas somebody with lock screen wouldn't have known. So if you're playing on it, then that's fine, but that's something you gotta get over. Yeah, he 
he's super weak, and he's only building armor to win lane, whereas we've got Nautilus and Ziggs. Crazy. So now I can flash and pull. to go after them when in actuality like I don't have this kind of strength this is all just mental games like they should they should know better that I can't harm them but the, f the way that I'm running at them they're like they are computing a lot of things like they're pretty decent players they're computing like wait why is he not hitting the tower like is there something that I don't see so your initial reaction is to back away from something that you're not 100% sure of they definitely were not sure of the fact that I had no intention of going after them and in fact Caitlyn could have probably done a lot of damage to me so that was uh, not good I do want to mention something, which I would love, because this is going to go into YouTube. Um, I am going to mention something that uh, I would love to hear comments on, so I really want a lot of comments on this. I am actually going to try to make it in the world of esports. I am not going to try to be a professional player. However, I am going to rank myself up to a point where I'm res a respectable enough um, player in terms of my skill level, so that my informative casts like this actually make... Uh, they make sense to watch, basically. Like I, And I'm going to try to add some entertainment value and whatnot. I'm also doing a bunch of side projects that are unrelated to streaming. But um, I would love to know your feedback on that and what you guys would love to see out of me. Because that's what I care about. I care about what you guys want. So let me know what you think might be a good idea or anything you would love to see. And if you guys can make it up to the stream, I would love that too. But anyways, here we go. Got my ult. I was afraid that was gonna happen. Hey, interesting. I am I am so bummed about that. See, like watch. See if I go running after them, they don't turn and shoot. Like th there's no reason to not turn and shoot. Like she might think that I'm looking to flash pull or something, and even if I was, like, does it even matter? Like you <laughs> You just gotta consider those things. But then again, she probably also didn't see that I, I burned my ult. So she probably doesn't know that. So I'll do that kind of stuff all the time. Nice little slow. She's not gonna I'm just gonna go farm top. So anyways, yeah, it's really important. Leave it in the comments. Like, I'm gonna try to make it in the gaming world. Whether it's through streaming or whatever. I know that right now I'm not like a phenomenal streamer. I could always do things better, but if you guys want to see something different, that is what I want to know. That is like, oh man, that is the nectar of the gods right there. Just let me know what you guys want and I am going to provide Even if it's just like character choices, like I don't care, man. If you guys want to see some stuff, let me know. Mm. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna do... have a big decision. I'm actually gonna get my Banshee's Veil. I need to stay alive a bit better than I have been. And you know what? Because I think a big fight's gonna come, I'm gonna elixir up. So 
So that's gonna make up for a lot of the damage that I missed out. Not to mention the percentage damage, I don't need it. Like, I'm already killing the Renekton. And you can see now he's kind of like, oh crap, like, I needed some MR. And that's what he's getting now. He also bought uh, Ninja Tabai, which, even like even for me, it would probably have been better to go the uh, Merc Treads. I always value Merc Treads some more. That sucks. That really sucks. So we're kind of forced into a bit of a more passive position. Actually, probably gonna save this turret. I'm gonna go. Okay, I got ignite coming up in a couple of seconds. Like I'm almost fully loaded to like the max that I could be. Summoners coming up. Let's go. Yeah, drag's free. It's free and easy. But we need to end, like, I got this, I got my elixir's halfway done and I haven't fought anything. I have my orders. By the way, if I flash pull onto, like, a Kale or something and she ults, then we're, we're set, man. Alright, my Banshee Veil went down. Kind of sad about that. Never Stop these minions too. That's a cute attempt. So when you get the outside minions, when you're this close to the base, oh my god, what an animal! When you get this close to the base, it's always a good idea to take the outgoing waves as well. So just in case you don't 100% get the base down like we have now, it's pretty confident. Um, you at least have the advantage of now your outer lanes aren't as big of an issue, like... So yeah, just trying to make sure that that's uh, what you're doing. By the way, if you're questioning what's going on with my YouTube and why there's only games of me winning going up, there's actually one game that should go up with a Malphite, uh, or of me losing. Um, actually, I don't know if we won or lost lane, but anyway, yeah, we won that game, shit, but I lost lane. But anyways, it's, like, honestly, I'm just breezing through my, my ELO right now. The reason I'm at the ELO that I'm at currently is because of Decay, so um, I apologize if it gets monotonous to watch a whole bunch of winning games, but... Uh, straight up, that's what happened. Like, I decayed from plat 1 or 2 or something down to plat 4 from just inactivity. So I'm just catching back up to where I was, and it's not... Like, I'm not finding it too difficult. The, Mal the Malphite game was pretty hard, but anyways. On to the next one. <laughs>